Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Gone. Out of sight. Wow, you guys see that fish? He came back and ate it again. Big, hearty, happy fall walleye. That's what it's about, right? Surly boy, surly. Look at this day, buddy. Look how nice it is out. And I believe we will be back with another video today. What is going on, guys? It's been a little bit since I've kind of thrown a camera up, done some fishing, and created some content for YouTube. And where have you been, I might ask? Well, I've been so busy building a garage media studio thing. It's consumed all my time have not been able to travel. But I finally said, enough's enough for now. I gotta get on the road and do some fishing. But today we're bouncing around up here in Northern Wisconsin, little lake to little lake to little lake. And I've done this very minimally over the last several days. But as you can tell, look at the trees. Look what I'm wearing. Fall is in the air. Water temp, 58.8 degrees. And this is the time of year when you have the turnover effect begin to happening on a lot of lakes and that kind of throws some fish around i actually just filmed this morning kind of an awesome piece talking about just kind of like a sit down conversation showing some screenshots showing some shots of what you want to be seen on the graph on kind of a few different locations where you can see these fish and kind of what that turnover really means for a lot of different systems so if you guys are curious on that you know it's always a hot topic anytime you're fishing this time of year this early october time frame so today we're gonna hopefully do one of my absolute favorite things, bouncing around little lake to little lake. Get in some shallow water cover, put on a plastic, snap jig it aggressively, and catch walleyes, pike, largemouth, smallmouth, a big crappie maybe, who knows? But it's one of those things that you can take anywhere you're gonna go this time of year and really be productive on it. So that's the plan today. We're gonna to do a little bit of looking around with the side imaging, a little bit of poking around with the hummingbird mega live, and hopefully I'm gonna catch a bunch of fish and surly, hopefully you're gonna net a bunch for me. He's just hanging out up on the bow, soaking it all in right now. Look at him. <laughs> well, anyways, stay tuned. Let's get it going on. Find some fish. Snapjig, one of my absolute favorite plastics. You guys already know what it is. Kalen's Jerk Minnow Jr. So deadly. Bait that catches literally everything. So let's get it going on. Let's see what we can do today, surly boy. All right. Now we're going to be implementing the Hummingbird Mega Live today, which is a super powerful tool. I got to get the trolling motor down too, so that we can spot lock and put around up shallow in the weeds. And essentially what we're going to try to do is just get in a very target rich environment where there's lots of weeds, inside edge, outside edge, lots of fish to cast at. Now your best friend generally when you're fishing shallow water for finding fish, side imaging. Hummingbird Mega side imaging, and that is 100% still the case. I like to crank that out to about 100 feet when I'm cruising down these pieces of structure. And that's gonna give me the best idea what I'm looking at, the, the big picture of everything, and everything like that. Now, my second favorite tool, and this is not like a mandatory, I always get comments when I film content with the live that say to the effect of, well, I'm not gonna buy that, I don't wanna buy that, I'm not gonna use forward-facing sonar. That's fine, you can still literally do all of it with side imaging if you want. But the Hummingbird Mega Live is gonna be a great tool for when we get around fish to kind of like, oh, yep, there they are right there now. And then put our bait right in front of them. So that's kind of the, the one-two punch that a lot of times um, I'm using when I'm fishing a lot of this, sh this shallow cover. And the other thing is that the Advantage Lives gives you is sometimes if you're fishing like a, a weed that might come up a foot or two that without really any kind of break in it, it might be difficult to see those fish on like just a side imaging or something like that. So a lot of times I'll use the live to kind of see those fish that are sitting just above some weeds too, because they might not always pick up the best on side imaging if you're looking at thick weed cover.
right there, fish on. You guys see me sharpshoot that fish? Saw him, pitched out to him, just a big single mark up over the weeds. Ooh, that's a real nice walleye right there. That is absolutely what we're after. Man, he was just a big single. The other pods we've been seeing have been uh, all like triples or, or four or five fish at a time. But a lot of times these nicer fish like that can be a little bit more roamers when the rest of them might be eater sized fish. There we go. We'll take them like that for sure. And I'm popped off on quarter ounce Google Eye jig. And look at that fish. Man, is that what we're after? Thick, tall, perky fall walleyes. Sharp shooting them right off the Mega Live. How's it getting any better than that? Look at that buddy. Give him a lick. Let's let that guy go and rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. That was kind of a cool one. You guys just saw that lone fish out there. As I'm kind of cruising through the weeds, saw him out in front, pitched out to him, and he bit right on cue, right perfect for the cameras. Wow, you guys see that fish? He came back and ate it again. <laughs> you guys can see him fighting on the live. That was cool. What do we got? Oh, it's a big old walleye. Wow, is it a nice walleye. Did you guys see that? I actually like swung on that fish and he missed it, but he kept following it. I just kind of like jiggled it in place there and he absolutely wolfed it. Wow, is that a nice fish. Little lake, <laughs> big walleyes. Oh man, was that ever a cool bite or what? And that is absolutely what we're after right there. And I actually had to take off the jerk minnow a second just because it seems like the fish were really negative and throw on a real minnow just to see. And it could probably catch them on both, but you know, always got a pocket full of real minnows with me out here. And that was a cool sequence on the live. Hopefully that comes through all right. Look at that. It's been about six minutes since our last fish. Big, hearty, happy fall walleye. That's what it's about right there, up in the weeds. All right, let's let that guy go. That is absolutely what we're after right there. I bought a 23, 24 incher. Cool sequence off the live too. We'll take them like that when it happens. And that was just on the same jig, quarter ounce gold Google Eye. Just swapped it out for kind of a smaller chub sized minnow there and some days they just want it in their face a little bit more it's hard to fish a plastic like real just kind of slow in their face with that minnow you can just do real small movements a lot of times to get them to eat it but we'll see if that's the case or if we can jerk minnow some fish but been out here for probably a whopping 15 minutes now and got a couple walleyes in the boat and we're seeing some good stuff happening both on the side imaging and on the mega live if you guys have now witnessed All right, well, we're on the road. We're doing a little bit of driving, doing a little fall lake hopping, kind of an idea that we might end up doing that. Kind of wanted to jump on that first little lake, see what was going on. Caught a few nice fish. There's a few other boats out there. Didn't really like too much of what I saw, but that's fine. 10 minutes down the road, going to the next lake. All is good. So that's the plan now. We got a, just a short drive here. Launch the boat and attack lake number two. Looking for more shallow water fish. Fish are all over in transition right now. So some lakes you might have a lot of fish shallow, some lakes you might not have a lot of fish shallow. And uh, the hope is that with lake number two, we see a whole bunch more fish up in some shallow water cover, eight, nine, 10, 12 feet of water. And uh, we can pitch at them and get a bunch of walleyes this afternoon to bite. So stay tuned. We're gonna head to lake number two, dump the boat, run around, find some fish, hopefully catch them. Get it rolling. Lake number two here. Beautiful afternoon. Got out kind of late morning. Warmed up quite a bit now. It's 
probably like 55, 60 degrees. A little south, southwest wind, and uh, plenty of color starting to pop on the shoreline, but we are focused on what's gonna be lurking on some of these weed edges. So let's blast off, find some fish, and then catch them. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. You guys see him come right out of that school? <laughs> there we go. All right, well, like I said, it took a, oh, nice walleye. Took a few casts at that first school with the jerk minnow, and it might just be a day where they prefer the, the slower moving live bait. And you'll definitely see that from time to time. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that some days it's not like that because it just is there we go there's a nice walleye number one i don't know if we got like a little rain cloud moving in or what it is but there's a nice you know 17 entry to get things going the fish that are in a lot of these lakes are just like that little guy right there 17 18 19 enters you could see some bigger ones in the mix some days but uh we'll see what today has in store maybe i'll just go every other maybe if i get a good school out there i'll Try the jerk minnow, go back to the plastic. There's only like one out there now. But we'll see if we can catch them, I guess. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that feels like a nicer fish too. On the jerk minnow. You guys saw it, put it on, casted it out. Maybe the trick is just being right in front of them and sharpshooting them real good. This is definitely going to be a nice fish right here. No doubt about that. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Real nice walleye right there. That's what we're after. We'll get our net out here and we'll scoop them up. There we go. Nice walleye in the boat right there. That is what I'm talking about. And man, that one had no fear of biting the plastic. Look at that. Gone. Out of sight. Quarter ounce. Google Eye, there's a pontoon just staring over here now, but there's a quarter ounce Google Eye and the old green shiner jerk minnow. Killer presentation right there. Look at that. If you can get your hands on those jerk minnows, I'm not just saying it to be a cheesy sales pitch. Get your hands on them, load up on them, because if they're one of those mysterious baits that all of a sudden just like disappears come prime time every year whether that's spring or fall. You know, a great summer bait too for snapping a deep weed edge or something. But hands down, favorite, probably my favorite walleye catch in plastic anywhere, anytime, I'd say. Right there. Finally got one to go out of that school there. <laughs> oh, you guys can probably see him a little bit fighting around there. Man, it's like some of them, you'll just get them to pound that plastic right away. And then on the very next kind of amount of fish you find, you end up having to make five casts at them to get them to go. They don't know what they're doing. That's all right. We've only been out here for probably 15 minutes now. And this is obviously certainly going better and then the first lake was there we go and sometimes that's what this pre-turn over time is or right at turnover you'll see some lakes that are fishing good other lakes where it's like you can't figure out what in the world's going on and that's just the reality of it but jumping around looking at a few different spots and shuffling through kind of your options from aggressive to to not aggressive generally you land on something that puts a couple of fish in the boat
Oh, there's a bite way out there. Got him. That's feeling really nice too. Whoa, whoa. Question is, what is it? It's giving me kind of pikeish vibes now. Oh, it could be a big angry walleye too. Pike will always do that weird belly swirl roll where they give up. Oh, it is a nice walleye, really nice walleye. <laughs> there was no give up there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Maybe this little just storm edge. Not even a storm. It's like one big rain cloud just south of me. He's getting them all fired up. But we'll take it. I mean, that right there is absolutely what we're after. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. Another one on the jerk minnow. That one's got it right on the outside of the lip there. Going back and forth. Plastic to live bait. And look at that. It's about as good as it gets. Beautiful gold perky fall walleyes. So I absolutely love fishing a lot of these smaller up north lakes. They get that real beautiful gold color to them. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot else to say. We'll let that guy go. Oh, nice and angry. Catch and release so important on these lakes. A lot of the smaller bodies of water you fish cannot sustain. Limits getting kept every time you go there. So catch and release, super important. And I always like to mention it at least once in a in a video that I do, but we'll go back to a minnow now. We'll try the minnow. We'll just jump around a little bit. Fish on right there. You guys can see him fighting, probably coming off that crib. This could be a small eye or a big walleye, one of the two here. Moving fast, probably a big small eye. <laughs> Look at that thing go. But wow. Been a little bit since I saw you guys last. Did a lot of driving around, kind of looking for some fish. Man, if this is a bass, it's going to be real big here. Oh yeah, big old, big old largey. <laughs> oh man, fall fishing, gotta love it. Put on one bait, fly around, catch everything. We'll scoop you up, buddy, because you're that impressive of a largemouth here. Come here, come here. There we go, another nice fish in the boat. Now this might be the biggest largemouth which we featured on Tom Boley Fishing's channel, because to be honest, we do not encounter a whole lot of them. There you go, look at that big green jig-eating machine right there. <laughs> we'll let you go, buddy. Oh, there he goes, he's real angry to get back in. But that's kind of what makes this time here so cool. Flying down a weed edge, casting any targets you see, either on the side imaging, looking for screenshots that'll look something like this, or you're looking at the Mega Live, looking for those classic kind of bundles of fish up off the bottom which we've been showing today all right well there is quick little afternoon outing never really found another pot of fish to be honest with you and uh that's just kind of how it goes sometimes but came out caught some walleyes today can't complain too much for a short little afternoon the days are getting short which means we have less time to produce videos but i gotta go home pack tonight edit up this video edit up an app video um, that kind of goes all into this kind of pre-turnover stage, just a little discussion kind of about it, um, highlighting a couple different places I see fish and all that kind of good stuff. But um, that'll be found under early fall natural lake, flowage or reservoir system, and uh, turnovers don't happen on rivers. So one of those two options, and it'll be right there. It really walks you through kind of my thought process, how I attack a lake right around this turnover transitional time. But like I said, gotta go home, edit these two videos, pack some stuff up, get on the road tomorrow morning, because I need a getaway. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from my house. I need to get away from my garage project. And I need to go um, have some fun and set the hook a million times. So um, with that being said, appreciate you guys watching this one. If you guys are not subscribed, please do that and stay tuned for more.